Yay, now we have fake antivirus on the lock screen and it's being used to sell real products like McAfee from mega giant corporations. How is nobody looking into this? So as you can see, we have a website that's open that says our antivirus protection that is McAfee has expired and it wants us to renew now. But what's crazy is that I'm seeing these notifications on my Windows desktop and this is gonna continue even if I close my browser that says my computer is damaged by suspicious threats. And it's just an ever-changing pop-up. And if you click on any of these, funnily enough, you go to the site that says it's McAfee Toll Protection. But obviously the URL is uh, some kind of scam website in India. If we go ahead and click on scan, it takes over the whole screen showing me Norton's scan interface for some reason because the scammers can't figure out if they want to be Norton or McAfee so they decided to kind of be both. Now the pop-ups keep getting scarier and scarier so now it says my Google account was hacked which even if you're not someone to be concerned about computer viruses, you might care about your Google account. But the craziest thing is what happens when we click on one of these pop-ups. Like if we go ahead and say we want to remove the virus, it wants us to renew our McAfee subscription. And guess what? This leads us directly to McAfee's own website. Not even kidding, this is McAfee.com. This is their consumer landing page. And if we go all the way down in the link, I think this is some kind of an affiliate link that the scammers are using. How crazy is that? And I've got to be very careful about what I say here, but I don't know how this is acceptable to McAfee or Norton. And I'm only mentioning these two because I've seen scams that lead to both McAfee and Norton's homepage. Shouldn't these people be kicked off their affiliate program for, you know, creating malware? Isn't that part of the terms that you don't promote a product by creating a scam website? And when I see stuff like this, I kind of understand why the AV industry has such a shitty reputation. If you can't shut down your own affiliates from using malicious techniques to promote your own products while they're doing it actively and leading up to your landing page, how are you going to stop serious threat actors? Like seriously, <laughs> now it wants me to turn on Virus Defender. <laughs> I love these names. But at some point, this is not funny. I know a lot of you are going to be people who work in IT, people who understand this stuff and know know what this is. Now, I know what you're thinking right now. This must be some really obscure site that I went to to get infected or attacked in this way, right? Well, actually, it's quite funny. I was on a virtual machine with Windows Defender installed and I was about to do a test of Bitdefender versus Kaspersky and I just wanted to get some wallpaper. So I just searched for some random like wallpaper site. I think I was searching for Kaspersky wallpapers. And I just randomly clicked on one of the first results and opened the site. And that was pretty much it. Of course, with this kind of content, it's always difficult to replicate, especially after some time has passed because the campaigns are very specific. They might even target specific regions, but it wasn't like super hard to find or anything. Like it was literally off of first page Google results. So someone could totally get affected by this simply by going to a wallpaper site. And that would of course be enough to take over your screen, run the fake scans, but in order to get the annoying notifications, you would then have to answer a pop-up that would say something like allow notification, which is a pretty common prompt. And the only thing that you can do to kind of get around that is to disable notifications for your browser. And it's worth noting that this is also something that's getting harder and harder to do. And there are more and more things now that can send you notifications right to your desktop. And with Microsoft Edge, the thing is the browser's running in the background all the time. So even if you don't have the browser open, you think, oh, let me just close out of this window. The browser is still running. If we go ahead and close this, boom, Edge is gone. But if we take a look at our processes, as you can tell, Edge is still sitting there. So it lied, it didn't actually close. And that's just how Windows works nowadays. Your browser is a permanent part of the operating system. It's always running in the background, ready to give you notifications. If we had the whole widgets thing enabled, that's basically like a component of the browser running on your desktop. As time goes on, these kinds of annoying notification websites, fake websites are going to act more and more like full-scale malware. So while you can, I would definitely recommend going 
going into your settings and double checking um, what kind of notifications you have turned on. Just try to disable as many of these as possible. It's just going to be less annoying for you anyway. But for something specific like this, you would have to go into um, your site permissions and then you would have to disable the notification permissions for that particular site and then make sure you have ask before sending. But what typically happens is um, there is that quick pop-up and maybe it's gonna say, in order to download this wallpaper, click on accept, and that's gonna be a prompt to accept notifications. And if you do that, then, well, there's your malware notification. <laughs> there's your fake AV installed right there. It's a very simple and easy attack factor, especially to hit people who are not particularly experienced with computers. And it's kind of crazy how that can go all the way to the lock screen. So do be very cautious if you're visiting these um, wallpaper sites. Sometimes an ad blocker might save you. But in this particular instance, what really annoys me is the fact that the fake antivirus or scam pop-up is actually promoting a real antivirus. And the way the scammers are making money is by getting you to buy buy McAfee or whatever, because they're making money off of those affiliate links. Now, since people love to be sensationalists and go by the headlines in these kinds of videos, I want to be extra clear and say, it's really easy for anybody to register to be an affiliate. Anyone can get a link and then you basically get a percentage of each sale. So it's not like these are super official entities or anything like that, or this might be happening with the company's consent, although I don't know what's happening. But my guess is that they're just like random farms in India, other countries where people are just making these affiliate accounts and then creating these websites, pocketing the money. And then if they get suspended, they get suspended spend it, they just start all over again. On a brighter note, when I did try the same link on my host system, my Guardio web extension did successfully block the redirect to the fake pop-ups. So I decided they would be the perfect integration for this video. Now, as many of you know, Guardio have sponsored a lot of our educational videos and I've been trying them out for a while. They're a simple web extension that you can install on your PC or Mac, even your phone, to protect against all sorts of online threats, including identity theft, social media hijacking, info stealers, and especially scams and pop-ups like this that target home users. They do a lot of background research into these campaigns. And because it's on the browser, it's a very limited install. You basically just sign in with your account and you have a dashboard and you can configure everything from there. They can also notify you about data breaches, help protect your digital identity. So please check them out using link in description. You can get an absolutely free trial by going to guard.io slash PC security. So thank you to them for sponsoring this video and thank you for watching. This is Leo and as always, stay informed, stay secure.